Hi. I'm Bobby. I am a robot cat. Much has been happening in the world of Lord Farquaad. If you are unfamiliar with the channel without a crystal ball, simply imagine every meme. Every single viral video of a disgruntled woman speaking to absolutely every manager. This is Catherine and Joy. Queen of the Potatoes has spent the last three years obsessively attempting to discredit and defame an alarming number of figures on the internet, as well as television personalities. Amber Portwood, Todd Chris Lee, Tati Westbrook, all of the Duggars, and sometimes even her own husband. Never mind. And the last few weeks there has been overwhelming information being put out by multiple creators about her newest target, 7M specifically Miranda. The group appears to be a God-focused myriad of dancers. Well, they appear to be quite happy and talented, dancing jigs and proclaiming everlasting love for the Lord. Our dearest Adderall Lanny feels otherwise. Today I shall summarize the last weeks of drama in a digestible format. There are also channels who have covered this more in depth than I with daily streaming, and many uploads. I shall link them below if you are a fan of longer format content. Where do we begin? Well, one of the most prominent characters of the 7M group is Miranda Derrick, formerly Miranda Wilking. Katie set her sights on Miranda almost immediately, reaching out to her parents under the guise of wanting to save their daughter from a religious cult. Apparently Miranda's parents do feel as though her life is so consumed by the group, that it is most definitely a cult. Catherine took to her Instagram, and in her famous drunken benders, hurled accusation after accusation against not only Miranda, but the entire group. She pulled up former lawsuits, and criminal history of other members. Most of which had already been settled or dismissed respectively, yes, well Catherine insisted that she was not targeting Miranda alone. Her behavior said otherwise. Going as far as to post screenshots of Miranda and her car with a man minding his own business in the background. To which Catherine insisted this was a man hired to follow Miranda wherever she goes. What a nutter. Never mind. Miranda was eventually forced to release a statement, which I'm sure many of you have already read or heard if you have been following this on other channels. In a nutshell, Miranda makes a statement that she has contacted her mother and they will be meeting to attempt to find a common ground. As she admits her parents are worried for her commitment to the group. She goes on to say that Catherine is a problematic cyber bully. And urges her fans to do their own research to see just how terrible Lord Farquaad actually is. She then goes on to say that if her parents had never spoken to this evil woman, this would not be happening and describes Catherine as a fungus growing uncontrollably across the internet. L. O. L., this is truly no laughing matter. Catherine's harassment has been such that the group has created an Instagram called Without a Crystal Ball or Clue, in which they are documenting Catherine's terrible accusations, as well as shedding even more light on her past behaviors. I actually believe that this Instagram may be better documented than the current state of the subreddit WOACB, unfortunately other, larger outlets are beginning to pick up the story. Rolling Stone magazine attempted to credit Catherine in a recent article. To which the group fired back, with an announcement that their attorneys have sent written notice to the publication, as well as anyone else covering this story based off false information. There was also this bit I found on Twitter. Hinting that Catherine may have been served twice in the past week, with all of the accusation of crimes, digging into financials, accusing all group members of trafficking, and a host of other defamatory speculations. Will Catherine Joy finally be served with a legitimate suit, that will end this reign of terror across the internet? Will Christians be allowed to safely practice their religion without the beady eyes of Adderall Lanny glaring mercilessly down at them? Will TikTok, God-fearing, gleeful performers be able to finally dance their jigs for the Lord in peace? Only time will tell. Again, do be sure to check the links in my description box for the channels who have been covering this on a daily basis. I shall be back with more cheers.